welcome back to my channel. For today's video, what I will show you is some productivity tips for beginners. And if you want more videos like this, please click on the subscribe button below and the notification bell. So let's get started in 3, 2, 1, 2. First is you need to plan all the things that you want to do. And when it comes to planning, I highly recommend to use Notion. Pwede nyo siyang install on your phone and pwede din nyo siyang i-access on your desktop or laptop. Next is, after listing all of the tasks that you need to do, the next thing that you should do is to plan the easiest next action for each task. For example, what you need to do is to film a video. Ask yourself, what is the next small step that you should do? So, for me, this writing is creep. Then after that, think again, what is the next easiest action that you should do? So, you need to ask that up until you are finish or hanggang matapos yung said task na kailangan mong gawin. Kasi minsan, each baby steps will get you into the momentum on, on being productive, on doing your task or doing your assigned task. Basta ganun, um, if you can understand that, I will show it to you. And now, nandito po tayo kung paano mag-create ng page natin siya. Then, lalagyan natin ng name. Yan po. Tapos, depende sa inyo kung lalagyan nyo siya ng icon or not. Tapos, dito pala natin i-apply yung mga nasabi natin na yung list all of the things that you need to do and yung planning yung each baby step at saka yung pagsiset ng deadline so yan po kayo na lang po ang bahala mag ng i-design nyo or gagawin nyo ng plane ito po yung main task natin. Task 1. And, i-indent lang po natin para ito sa mga baby steps or ito sa easiest next action na need natin i-accomplish para magawa natin yung task 1. Yan po, actually, kahit magawa ito lahat hanggang matapos yun. Then, pwede nyo siyang label lang kung kailan nyo gustong gawin din pwedeng magamit yung date time sa notion eh. Kaya, iman naman is schedule na lang natin using calendar or alarm or timer. natin italay na lagyan ng time pero hindi magawa kaya schedule na lang natin or mag set na lang tayo ng na 
natin yung touch na to. Pero if nahihirapan ka pa din kaya accomplish yun, the next thing to do is to set a deadline for each task. For example, you are allotting 30 minutes or 20 minutes on each things that you need to do. At syempre, minsan, hindi pa rin sapat. Ang kailangan mo is reward yourself for each accomplished task. So, hulian mo yung sarili mo kasi deserve mo naman. Since, Ginagawa mo, na, ginagawa mo na yung task na kailangan mong gawin. And if you are having a hard time to focus, you should try the Pomodoro Technique. It is 25 minutes of work and 5 minutes of break. Um, I highly rec recommend using Forest. It is a mobile application if you are a beginner sa Pomodoro technique. Or if ayaw nyo naman mag-install, you can just use your timer. 25, basta huwag nyo dadayain ha. Then after 25 minutes of work, you should set the timer to 5 minutes para sa break time nyo. And if it is long term task, you should set goals for each day up until matapos nyo yung said task. Then, next is, you need to eliminate distractions. If pwede, immute nyo yung notifications nyo sa phone nyo. Ang itiron nyo lang is, as in, wala pala kayo yung dapat itiron. Or, click the do not disturb button para sure na nakamute lahat ng notifications at walang distractions habang ginagawa niyo yung task na kailangan niyong gawin. Then, then lastly, ito yung pinakamahirap na part. Take action. Kasi bali wala naman yung mga, mga tips and hacks if hindi kayo gagawa. kailangan talaga, you should take action. Gawin mo na lang. It's all in the mind. Kasi, no. Para saan to kung hindi ka din naman gagawa? Para saan yung tips na to kung tutunga nga ka lang din? So, here's my last advice. And I highly recommend doing it sa umaga. Para nasa Ano pa rin kayo? Nasa hype. Nasa momentum pa din kayo. And if magkasunod naman yung gagawin yung task, pwede niyong pagsabayin. <laughs> pwede niyong pagsabayin naman. And aside from that, lastly is, lastly is, after doing each task, kagaya nga na sa Pomodoro Technique, you should take a break. Pag alam mong nakakailan ka na, pwede ka muna magpahinga. Pwede mong ipahinga mo na yung utak mo, yung sarili mo. Saka ka na lang ulit mag-proceed. So, that's all. So, that's all for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap the notification bell for more productivity advice. So, thank you so much for watching and see you on my next video. Bye for now.